welcome to the Innovations Festival. Summer's here. Okay, so on the sprints we have uh, six fantastic sprints lined up for the week. We've actually got one extra edition as well. It's not really a sprint, but it's a hackathon, and we're building that in as well, but I'll touch on that in just a moment. So what we actually do have, if I start with IBM, it's rather pertinent on a day like today, we're actually going to try and tackle the challenge of flooding. And actually not just look at something called sewer flooding, we're trying to think broader than that. So we're actually trying to say, how can we, how can we sort flooding in general? What are the factors that cause flooding? How can we dig into that problem? How can we all work together as a community and a society to actually solve the problem of flooding? So fantastic problem to actually look at because that affects quite a lot of people as we know. Next, what do we have? We have working with Reese Innovation. They are looking at sustainable communities. Now we can look at things like carbon neutrality and greenhouse gases and things like that and think, yeah, can we build a carbon neutral house? Well, yes, we can already do that, but that doesn't really help us solve the broader societal issues. If we're trying to create sustainable communities, what we need to do is actually take our existing infrastructure and adapt it for the 21st century to create sustainable communities of the future. Not only from a, a carbon neutrality point of view, but also from a social and well-being point of view. So actually trying to engender those greener and healthier communities as well. Linked into that, the next kind of sprint that we're looking at, that is looking with the Ordnance Survey, looking to do a Geovation Challenge. So what we're doing here is we're actually taking the outputs of some workshops around the country and looking at how we could actually create greener, smarter communities in the northeast. So we're going to try and identify what are the key things, what are the inhibitors, what do we need to solve, what do we need to get on top of. So we're going to work with Ordnance Survey, work with the, the, the Geovation experts and actually come up with the key things we need to get on top of and actually we're going to take that out and feed those into the Geovation Challenge which is actually after our uh, Innovation Festival so we've got a tangible link through there to actually how we're going to bring some of these ideas and some of these concepts to life so that's going to be absolutely fantastic to see. So thinking of the future, we're working with CGI or Headlining a Sprint and they're really looking at actually what does our world of living and working look like in 2030 what will it look like what will it mean for us how is our future going to be shaped by what's happening potentially now and what can we do now to actually prepare ourselves for that things will be markedly different by 2030 that's 13 years on from now if we think 13 years ago where were we as a society my word things have moved on massively what is the next thing how are we going to change really an exciting challenge to be part of that's for sure as you know, Northumbrian Water is a big, complex business. We have customers all over the country. We have them from Berwick, up in the Northumberland area, to Mask. We have them over in Essex and Suffolk area as well. So we are a big, vast organisation. One of the challenges we face is to how to make sure we optimise our workforce deployment all the time. Factors change all the time. Look at today, the weather. Not very good. That does impact on our plans. Other factors play into that all the time. So we're working with our headline sponsor, BT, to actually say, right, how can we, we make sure we have the most optimal plan all the time to make sure that we are delivering a fantastic experience in the field for our customers? That's what we're aiming to do. And finally, the last challenge we're trying to, uh, to, trying to get on, on top of, we are looking at leakage. Leakage is obviously something we'll have a, a, a lot around in, in the press. What we need to look at on leakage is actually saying, actually, how can we find and fix leaks better? So we're running a design sprint around that because we want to be able to find them quicker. We have a terminology in the industry about no dry holes. If you dig a dry hole and haven't found a leak, it's no good for anyone. So what we want to do is make sure that actually we can find the leaks first time. Or even if we, is, is there a technology out there where we could re repair leaks in situ, so self-healing pipes, who knows what the possibilities are. Let's see what we can do when we open up our minds and let's work on that one. So that's something we're hosting ourselves and driving very much towards that. <clears throat> the final approach we're taking on leakage is to actually say, well actually we have a lot of data as you might expect around leakage. But sometimes it's good to actually throw that data out to data scientists and actually say, what can you tell us about the leakage? We just don't know. What are the intangible correlations that exist within that data? We've had some very good experiences as a business by opening ourselves up and inviting, inviting experts in to look and help us find those kind of new insights in the data. So we're actually hosting a hackathon with Microsoft to actually say, right, let's look at this. Let's see what we can do. So bringing all these data scientists in and saying, right, what can we see? What can we find? And that's going to be a very exciting challenge to be a part of. 
As you can see, we've got six prints there. We're working with innovators across the UK and even across the world, really. So it's going to be fantastic to be part of this. So please come on board and be part of our journey. And if you can help on any of these prints, come on board because we really want you to join our fun. Okay? Oh, 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 oh